Tan, it's been six and a half years since you've been in the Octagon. Uh, Got to be a pretty welcome way to come back in. Well, I mean, uh, he, he put it on me. It wasn't the most welcoming one. I wish he went down in the first hit, but, you know, uh, it felt good to get out there and perform. And, you know, uh, it wasn't probably my best performance ever, but sometimes you just got to have grit, man. And screw it, dude. Take the win as you can get it. You seem to be pretty tough on yourself after a fight that I think uh, universally has been uh, lauded. It was a very fun fight to watch. Maybe didn't go your way 100%. You had a back and forth affair with them, really, but still was a very fun fight. Um, you know, I said in a few other interviews, man, the better you are at fighting, the less of it you got to do. And today I wasn't as good as I wanted to be. But uh, like I said, man, a lot of a lot of fighting is just as mental. You know, my mental performance coach, my striking coach, Kevin Seaman, the winning mindset. We, we, we talk about it every day, man, just what it is to have it up here. And it doesn't matter if you guys got the better skill or not. It doesn't matter if it's physique. doesn't matter. All this stuff's garbage, man. It's, it's up here. And then it's in here, man. So that's what showed tonight. You were just a baby when you were here the first time. 23 years old when you left, I believe. Uh, 20 on my first fight, man. What did you do for five years when you were away from fighting? Um, I got distracted. I had a few hiccups. I got involved in some things that uh, made it so I couldn't. Really, like I tell people, it's momentum, man. If you have the momentum, it's easy to fight. It's easy to keep the ball rolling. Uh, when you don't have momentum, you, you got to find a way to build it. So, uh, a lot of it was, it was, you know, at a time, I came in like a shooting star, man. I was there, and and then, you know, I got dropped. I got deflated. You know, and it's it's tough. It's hard to get motivated to fight for a grand and a grand. You know what I'm saying? So. For a while it was tough. Uh, I shot down some opportunities because I didn't want to fight at 170 anymore. And then uh, a couple of injuries, hiccups, personal problems, couldn't build the momentum. And then uh, I got into a real sideline injury. I was spending a year out because I um, got a surgery from a car accident. And then uh, even even through all, the, all that time, I kept telling myself, like I said, I told my wife, I said, I'm gonna do it, honey. I was like, I'm gonna be back. I'm gonna be in the UFC. And we're gonna hit that money, and, and we're gonna raise some babies. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, um, like I explained, like I explained to the guy in the in the show, I said it was very winner. It was it was an all or nothing contract. Um, I'd be making less money in Bellator if I hadn't won the title shot, and if I won the championship, I'd be making good money. So, um, you know, as much as I have to thank Bellator for giving me an opportunity to shine and build my stock back up to get to where I am instead of being on the bottom, you know, lower level shows, I have to thank them for that. But as far as what was best interest of my career, the goal was always to be in the UFC. I didn't come back to fighting and say, I want to fight in Bellator, I want to fight in any of these other places. I said, I want to go back home. I want to show people that I'm not just another name in the hat. I'm at the top of my game. I'm ready to climb that ladder. I say it's not a comeback, it's a war path for a reason, you know, it's mental, I'm coming back, I, I intend on keeping the momentum, steamrolling my opponents until I'm, I'm, I got some gold around my waist and bigger, bigger money in my pockets, you know, and then the other side of that is, if I look at the UFC, you know, Reebok, I'm getting 5 G's, or I should be, which they better check that check, make sure it's 5 G's, <laughs> and then on top of that, I was like, say, man, I'll get the free money, I don't have to go chase sponsors, and then every time you fight, man, it's a 50, G, 50 G's in your pocket, you, you, you finish somebody, and so, I'm going to be checking my bank account, and my mail, over the next 30 to, 30 to 60 days, is that what they told me? 30 to 60 days to see that money, you know, put it towards uh, my family and, and improving our, our quality of life because, you know, it's hard on a barn cat, you know, trying to get out the barn.